It's a game-changing partnership that will tackle climate change, poverty, and other global issues. Chaminade University is partnering with the United Nations to launch a new Pacific Region Training Center. And joining us this morning with more is Dr. Lynn Babington, president at Chaminade University. Good morning, Dr. Babington. How are you doing this morning? Good morning. I'm doing well. Thank you for having me today. Now, first off, how did this partnership between Chaminade and the United Nations come about? Well, in late 2020, the United Nations approached Chaminade um, to explore the opportunity to partner on a uh, education and training center for the Pacific region. The United Nations uh, realized there was no training center in this area, and this was a very good mission fit for our university. So we're very excited to partner on this uh, wonderful opportunity for Hawaii and the entire Pacific region. Now let's talk a little bit about climate change and sea level rising. How is that impacting Hawaii and the Pacific Island nations? Well, as we all know from just living here, much less reading the newspaper, that climate change brings rising sea levels, particularly in some of our smaller atoll nations and, and islands here in Hawaii. We have salt infiltrating the water, certainly the Red Hill um, issues of late here on Honolulu really brought to life how important um, clean water. Uh, climate change also brings about it indirectly and directly affects those at the margins much more dramatically in terms of food and water and health and well-being. So the 17 sustainable goals for the United Nations really focus on um, helping to make the world a better place. It includes everything, but at Chaminade, we're focusing on only a few of those. Um, and as you know, it's the United Nations partnership. We are not providing all the education. We're facilitating education and training for young people to be leaders in this area with all our community partners who in some areas are much more expert than we are. And so we're just a facilitator and gatherer for um, that important work that will continue to be done to help uh, mitigate some of the climate change uh, uh, catastrophes actually that we currently face. And you guys plan to integrate these goals into your curriculum as well? Yeah, well, certainly in the science curriculum, it seems it seems like a great fit for um, environmental coral bleaching, clean water, um, issues of climate change for food, et cetera. But in all of our curriculum, I mean, when you're looking at business, ethical business practices, gender equality and equal pay are issues that are part of the sustainable goals. And we have a, Shamanat has a very strong um, nursing and healthcare uh, programs and the health and well-being of the population is certainly one of the sustainable goals through the United Nations. And doctor, can you talk about the lecture series starting on Tuesday and what else you guys have planned? Yes, we're very fortunate this week for our kickoff to have uh, three really important lectures. The first will be um, Dr. Josh Green our Lieutenant Governor uh, tomorrow at 12.30 in the afternoon. He'll be on campus at the Zuberano Lawn, and he's gonna be speaking about the health and well-being of Hawaii. Um, followed in the afternoon at 4.30 on our Sullivan Family Lawn, we're going to talk about sustainable development with Ramsey Tom, who's the founder and president of the Life Enhancement Institute, and one of our students, Lucy Lee, a Chaminade student, who is a Hokalea student navigator for the Polynesian Voyaging Society. And then finally next Monday, in partnership with the Hawaii Executive Committee, um, Chris Benjamin will lead a panel of experts on climate change, a vision for success. That will include Amy Barnes, Dr. Flip, Chip Fletcher, Scott Glenn, and Josh Stanborough. These are open to the public and we welcome anyone to come and join us. There should be some very important discussions. All right, and we will have all that information on our website at kh12.com. Dr. Babington, appreciate your time and have a great day. Thank you, you as well.